Jim, uh, a well-earned point on the road here at Gainsborough this evening. Yeah, I think it was a hard fought, um, but I think it was the least we deserved. I think we started the game incredibly well, um, and then we sort of faded a little bit towards the end of the first half where they took a grip of the game and they got the goal, uh, which was a huge blow for us because it meant that we had to, to really step up a game second half, but we did. And uh, without playing brilliant, uh, we certainly put worked hard enough to get the result, get the chances and create the openings and uh, eventually uh, we scored. And um, you know, if I look back at a few of the opportunities we had before that, uh, we were probably disappointed we didn't score before that. So could have got more out of it, but really pleased. Uh, it was the least we deserved and uh, really important that we uh, kept Gainsborough behind us. Yeah, we went um, down 1-0 at half time. What sort of mistakes do you think we made for the goal? Well, we, we, we're making, we, we, we we were guilty of some sloppy errors early on, you know, giving away possession. I think when we were positive and purposeful and got out of the back four, they looked vulnerable and we'd create chances. But uh, there's times when we sort of took some poor square passes. Uh, I think what led to the, the problem was um, giving away a foul on this side. Um, and from that, we, we cleared it, but we came out, um, and, but they showed great intensity on the second phase to get in. It was a brilliant move from their perspective. Um, but we need to learn how to come out marking and then to go back in marking. But um, no credit to them for that goal. Um, they they have got a threat. I've been watching them. Uh, uh, we've been watching them for quite a while since the postponed game. And um, you know the beef bamba here. Uh, so they've got a cutting edge. They've got crisp play, sharp play up front. If you give them an opportunity to pounce on you, um, we did, um, and, it, and we paid a penalty for that. But second half we we knew we'd have a difficult task because they'd be of a different mentality. Uh, we were playing up that slight slope um, and we knew they'd make it very difficult for us to create anything but uh, I thought the lads did brilliant second half. Yeah, it was looking like um, there was a couple of chances that were made in the second half and it wasn't going to it wasn't gonna be but uh, a great goal in the end uh, from Brad Roscoe and good work from Harry Ditchfield. Yeah, it was, um, it was probably one of the, uh, the, great, the best bits of quality and incisive play that we did have but we created other opportunities. Um, I think we were given a penalty and then the referee changed his mind, which was a bizarre one. I think it was a linesman, wasn't it? I thought the referee was poor. There were some really poor challenges tonight. There was an incident from me where it was clearly our throw in. Uh, but well, we, some... were, we were sat behind you and it was a, it was a clear throw in, and he, he comes over and books you. Yeah, I, I didn't, you know, he never booked me for complaining about that. The next one that he gave, I clapped him. Um, but I think that. Um, I've, I mean, I've seen this with lots of ref referees that have a lot of dissent against him generally are making lots of mistakes. Um, I thought he was poor tonight. There were some really dangerous challenges going in and uh, he didn't book people, um, which I found, uh, I think, especially after the incident with myself, I felt that he, he seemed to lose control a little bit and I was worried about whether he'd actually compound errors after error. but. Um, the game settled down, and I think I think the biggest problem games were had is I think they come out second half looking to kill the game, uh, spoil the game a little bit, and maybe see the game out one nil. Um, I felt that we'd score because the amount of pressure that we were putting on them, the amount of possession we had in their half. Uh, I felt that we probably with the group of players we had, we're not having the bench that we'd like. That we felt that we probably need to score late on to. Uh, scoring late on would have been better for us in terms of they wouldn't have any response. Um, cause they were a different side when it went to 1-1, one, one. they sort of looked like they wanted to try and score a second goal. So I think it's a harsh lesson for them that uh, the game's never won at 1-0. Uh, you're better off playing a game to score. Um, uh, and like I said, uh, from our perspective, it was um, we stuck in there, worked really hard. We created some great opportunities, lots of set plays. We didn't have the cutting edge in the final product that we'd like. Um, we felt it was going to be one of those nights where perhaps all those chances would go a begging, but, um, but, but credit to the lads. Uh, it's been one of the most difficult weeks preparing for this game. Um, we've had a few issues uh, with the arrangement, the way it was made. Um, we lost a game on Saturday. Uh, we've had the train. We've, uh, because of the late uh, a rearrangement of this game for the 21st, we had players that were committed to holiday, so uh, we put in the field a, a full strength bench. Um, so we knew it was going to be a tough ask, especially for those 11 that started, but I thought they put in a huge, huge effort today and at least they deserve this point. And um, on to Monday now, it's a local derby away at Staley Bridge, must be looking forward to that one. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. I think we're, we've made progress, I think, uh, if you think about, I mean, the South Shields game is a standout game, but like we've come from losing positions to win at home, 
Um, ground out a very positive one that win against Nantwich, we've got the South Shields and come from behind to win. We've been at Gainsborough, been behind, come back. So we're showing great character. Um, when you watch us, we're, we're not, we're a work in progress. We've still got so many areas to tidy up um, and players need to, to learn a little bit from the training ground and keep adding. Uh, but when you consider that we've got that potential to grow and become better, uh, then you know, you can look forward to the next couple of games with positivity. Uh, I'm sure we'll have one or two players back from holiday, one or two players back from illness and, and niggles and knocks. And uh, it'd be nice to have that full 16 and have that little bit of extra depth and quality because normally local derbies are quite high energy, high tempo, feisty games. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of energy expended um, and we'll need all our players to get a result. Cheers, Jim.